everyone, I'm Alicia Henderson from Sweet Bakes and welcome to Cake TV, brought to you by Renshaw. In this tutorial, I'll be sharing with you how to make chocolate buttermilk cake donuts and then jazzing them up with a few fancy decorations. So our very first step is to fit our Kenwood with the K beater. We're going to put our dry ingredients in first and these don't need to be sifted, they can just go straight in. I've got three quarters of a cup of plain flour, quarter of a cup of cocoa powder, so one quarter cup of brown sugar, and then one teaspoon of baking powder and one eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. Now we're just gonna give that a little whir in the Kenwood, just on a low speed. Okay, now we need to combine our wet ingredients together. So I have butter, I've got a little bit of hot coffee that I've dissolved, some buttermilk, and one egg. And I'll post a link to this recipe as well so you can get all of these measurements. We'll just start to combine these. In goes buttermilk, butter, hot coffee, and one egg. Now we can just whisk those up with a fork until they're all combined. So now we can just put our wet mixture into our dry mix. Just pour that straight over the top. And we just need to turn our mixer onto the lowest speed and gently incorporate those together. Just don't over mix because that will dry out your batter. So just a slow mix there. Okay, that's looking nice and incorporated there. So we can spoon this into our piping bag and then heat up our donut pan. I'm using an electric donut machine, but this recipe will also work in a donut pan for the oven as well. Our machine is nice and hot now, so we can start to pipe our donuts in. And so they just need to cook for about three or four minutes and then they'll be perfect. So these have been in for about four minutes. They're feeling nice and springy, so I can pop those out very carefully just onto a wire rack to cool. Then we can just fill up our pan again. This recipe should make roughly about 16 donuts. to make our royal icing, I'll be using some icing sugar, some meringue powder, some glucose syrup and a little bit of water and we'll just give that a quick whisk with a fork so that it all comes together. So this is looking all incorporated and nice and shiny thanks to that glucose syrup in there. I'm going to separate these into three different bowls and dye these in different shades of pink. So icing is separated into three bowls now. If you were wanting to flavour it, this would be the point to do it, but I'm going to go straight into dyeing mine pink. So I have the Pro Gel from Rainbow Dust in shade pink. This stuff is super, super concentrated, so a little bit goes a really, really long way. I'll start off with my first bowl and just put a tiny little bit on my spoon. All right, icings are done and the donuts are cooled. We can start to dip. This is really easy, just holding it with two fingers. Just pop your nice flat side in there. Before the donut's set, just take a skewer to pop out any of the royal icing that's stuck in the centers. To finish off my donuts, I'm just going to use some pink sprinkles, some gold leaf, and a little bit of melted chocolate that I've put in a piping bag. chocolate donuts. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Cake TV brought to you by Renshaw. I think I'm going to eat one now. <laughs>